Attention all AMC apes. What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tin Invest, where I'm your host, Jimmy Bishrat. In today's episode, we're going to go full gorilla, so to say, or as others call it, we're going to be one with the apes. Yeah, today I'm talking about AMC. Now, if I'm being honest with you guys, I really hate these hype stocks and whatnot because they go away from the basic fundamentals of valuing stocks and really it's just based on supply and demand and people hyping it up and buying it up, which causes the price to go up. But when watching a clip from Jim Cramer's Mad Money this weekend, I saw a major catalyst that can maybe cause AMC to take off once again. So I figured I'd take the opportunity to expand my channel and talk about everyone's favorite, AMC. I'm also hoping that you hype investors can now take a look at some of these really interesting stocks that I've talked about in the past. Some of my favorite names being Weed Maps and Genius Sports. But like I always tell my viewers, my favorite, my opinion, none of that stuff matters because I am not a financial advisor and everything I ever talk about is not financial advice. On Tin Invest, you can expect a unique perspective and honestly just hours of research and hard due diligence put into an easy to follow, entertaining YouTube video. But for some reason, when I talk about stocks like Lululemon and Sonos, I mean, YouTube doesn't really like to push those videos out very much. Apparently, those names are just too boring for the typical Robin Hood investor who watches YouTube videos. But nonetheless, boring stocks go up too. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about AMC and more specifically, why Jim Cramer thinks AMC can see a boost in its share price come Monday. Now, a question I get asked constantly when AMC comes up is, is it expensive? Is it overpriced? Is it? And it's honestly so hard for me to answer because... Based on fundamentals, yeah, it may be overpriced. But as Jim Cramer says in this episode, I mean, here, listen. The stock is worth what people are willing to pay for. It. And the answer is higher. And well, right now, people are willing to pay times price to sales for AMC stock. And come Monday, Jim Cramer believes that they could potentially be willing to pay even more for this stock. But why, you may ask? Well, that's exactly what we're going to break down in this video. So in the Mad Money clip that was posted on the CNBC YouTube, which I'll definitely link, Jim Cramer spent about a minute talking about why AMC can see a boost in its share price Monday. And well, here's my interpretation of what he said. And like I said, this is my interpretation of what he was talking about. Really what I got from it are there three major factors that can lead to the AMC takeoff. The first factor is AMC CEO Adam Aaron. The second one are the AMC apes going bananas on social media again. And the third and most importantly, the box office results for the newest James Bond movie, No Time to Die. So really, this theory all begins with the box office results for the James Bond movie. And well, as of Saturday, October 9th, according to Yahoo Finance, the 25th film in the 007 franchise earned an impressive $23.3 million on Friday and Thursday night previews. While No Time to Die's Friday numbers fall a bit short from those of recent years, such as like the 2015 Bond movie, which made $27.4 million, and the 2012 Skyfall, which earned a franchise high of $30.5 million. Nonetheless, the totals still indicate that people are excited about James Bond movies, and I mean, especially in a time where people are still so fearful about going out and going to movie theaters, 23.3 million is an incredible number. Overall, No Time to Die is expected to open at the top of the domestic box office with a projected weekend haul of $60 million. And I mean, in my eyes, the biggest factor to Monday's catalyst seems to be forming true. So now, how does CEO Adam Aaron and the apes take part in all this? Well, Kramer believes that if the Bond movie does well enough, Aaron will begin tweeting out nonstop about the box office numbers. And well, it seems to me Jim Kramer is kind of onto something because so far, a majority of Aaron's last few tweets have involved the James Bond movie. 
So I'm sure once the numbers officialize, more tweets will follow, which is exactly what CEO Adam Aaron would need to do to take his part in this catalyst. Then the third and final factor is of course all of those meme stock apes to take notice of Adam Aaron's tweets and the recent box office numbers, which will then cause them to begin talking, tweeting, hyping up, and AKA going absolutely bananas on AMC stock. So will the numbers from this weekend's movie be enough to reawaken the apes? I mean, I don't know. Answering that question is like trying to find logic in a situation that uses absolutely no logic. Like it's literally trying to make sense of something that doesn't make much sense. But personally, I think Jim Cramer might be onto something. Then again, I've been watching Jim Cramer for over 10 years and I'm definitely somewhat a biased fan of his. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. Do you think that the James Bond movie is enough to reawaken the apes? Leave your opinion in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. And of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out a few of my other videos. I promise I keep them as entertaining as possible while also filling them with as much information as possible. And I do my best to talk about the stocks that maybe not everyone else is talking about. So be sure to check those out and let me know what you think. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. Always remember, the time is now.